and we're back with more Death Stranding. Um, man, my, my introductions are always kind of... I feel a little off. <laughs> I'm never really sure what to say. Uh, but yeah, so we are now in our private room. Our main objective right now is to take a look around, apparently. And last time we left off, we did quite a lot. We uh, got to Mount Nut City. Uh, met Lochna, who was the individual that Mama told us could fix the Cupid's um, software. And uh, we were able to connect the city by getting Mama over here. Turns out Mama and Lochna are sisters. Mama passed away, but then the sisters became reunited. Um, that's just the short version of what happened. Uh, but yeah, so I don't think we have any... I don't think we have any unread... things. So... Now look at that. Check on BB. There is no BB. So, let... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Sam. I'm gonna do it. So that's a big deal. Who took our baby? Hello? Lou? Lou? Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. Episode 6, Dead Man. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Mm -hmm. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Sam. That's because we're partners. <laughs> partners? Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool... This weapon is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. <laughs> it's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. That's not good. Cease functioning. That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment. To put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <laughs> of course! One catch though, the surgery may erase its memories. No! Erase? You will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again. <laughs> and this is why I hate these things. You <laughs> kind of deserved it. Sam, 
I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. <laughs> <laughs> See, no evil here, no evil speak, no evil. Intent, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah, because why would Dead Man deactivate your cufflink? Unless if you want some privacy. <laughs> Sam, why'd you have to wink at the camera? <laughs> Let's go on in. <laughs> Not awkward at all. And don't forget, Sam has aphanthosophobia. He doesn't like to be no touched. Here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? Okay. I've been doing some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? Yeah. But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Where is it? Mm. Excessive weight. The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name. Or his face. You don't have to get so close, Deadman. <laughs> since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Sam, you're Excuse a good me. sport. I'll give you that. Yeah, carry on, Sermo. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Yep, so we're gonna have to be without BB for a while. And it's been revealed that Sam named his BB Lou. A detail that was just revealed at the beginning of the scene. So, Lou, yeah. And, you know, I've played this game before, so I already knew that BB was named Lou, but... I had to keep that hush hush during the whole time I've been streaming this playthrough, you know. Didn't want to spoil because it is a pretty big uh, revelation. 
Oh, okay. I think I drank one too many. <laughs> well, well, he he needs he he needs a he needs a a drink after all that. <laughs> Dead man being all up in his business. All right, we gotta say hi to our little cryptobiotes. Hello, cryptobiotes. Oh yeah, and look, we got a new. Um... Yeah, that shows uh, Sam and Mama and Lachna. And uh, I didn't zoom in on it last time, but we did get. Um... Yeah, right here. We got uh, one of the lion BTs. Because we fought one last time. Alright. So. We are going to want to head out. And see what's in store for us. Oh. Kind of sad. Lou's not there. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. All right. Let's put on our hat and our glasses. We'll wear the harmonica, even though Lou isn't with us right now. That man tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amherst informed us of a tar belt outside of Edge Knot City. That's not good. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Yep, it's gonna be a bit of a grind. This plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Yeah. That's that's the one tricky bit. Alrighty then. So let's take on some let's see what bot uh deliveries we have. Okay, we got some that finished. Okay, yeah, I can't send out bots from here, I guess. Okay, so we have a mission to the roboticist. And one for the doctor. We definitely could 
We could do both. Um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and do the roboticist first. Then return to Mount Knot City and then pick up doctor's um, order. I want to travel light. So let's definitely take... Um, let's take two PCCs. Let's get one more container repair spray. Okay, we're good on everything else. We have a bullet gun. We could get a floating carrier for sliding down mountains and stuff. Alright, we don't need a vehicle since we're going into the mountains. Private locker is a whole bunch of this stuff. Yeah. I don't know if I really need any of that, so let's stick with this. Order assigned. Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities with your cupid to increase the chiral density. Deliver the high bounce journey. spring to the roboticist. And give some more likes to that. BB. Give some likes. We can give so many likes now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, all these people putting BB signs up here, I'm sure they did that because they were in the same pos position, being without BB. Sam? You read me? Um, Lagna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. Yeah, so you'll still have Mama's so, memories and... I shouldn't have any trouble getting that. up to speed. You back with Bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Much appreciated. All right. And there is a memory chip down here in the pit where the tar used to be. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay, we got an email from Aaron Hill. And stuff for the film director all the way over here, that's ridiculous. Alright, definitely want to give this lots of likes. Uh, those are chemicals. I don't need those. Just always going to be on the lookout for um, ceramics. Although I could have taken out some ceramics and medals for for this. Yeah, let's check how many let's check how many it needs. Okay, it needs a thousand metal a thousand ceramics and more than a thousand medals. So let's go ahead and grab some while we're here. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. 
And I know I still need to um, take care of the... Oh, we had two memory chips. Okay. Um, you picked this up for me. Need to keep building the roads in the other areas really? so that we can do the pizza deliveries. Oh, this will be right at home in my collection. It could always be something I do off screen. Okay, so we'll read Thank those in a moment. Now let's claim materials. We want... So that's 800. That's all we can take. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't exactly... I wasn't able to... I wasn't doing the math, so... Alright. Oh, we are way, way over... So, we're going to have to take out a car. Yeah, let's just retrieve this vehicle. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go, okay. Put him in the vehicle, and now we'll be all good. Okay, so adding the metals and the ceramics. Ah, it's still- well, I can't take out any more ceramics from Mountain Knot City. Then we'll need... Uh... Like 400 metals and 200 ceramics. Alright, let's see if we can ping anything. Uh, chemicals, don't need that. Those are only for upgrading other... Um, other types of structures. Okay, so we're here and we want to go... Let's just... we'll re... we'll go through the path that we took before. Yeah. Okay, let's read some of this stuff. From Aaron Hill, why Lachna opposed the UCA. I finally got the lowdown on why Lachna didn't want us to be part of the UCA. Can't say I understand it all, truth be told, but her concern that bringing everything and everyone into the fold might mean including some elements better left out, I get. If you take a step back, you can see how terrorism and war might only get worse once we're whole. Forging bonds with, between people means bringing them closer together, and to do that, and to do that means putting all our cards on the table, including the ones that aren't so pretty. It's naive to expect things to be all smiles and sing-alongs just because we understand each other a little better, you know. Seems to me she was right to call bullshit on that. Wagna and Mama were joined by that special bond that twins have. That's how come Mama wanted to carry Lachna's child, a child that. That should have brought them closer together, but instead it served to sever the ties between them for good and bound Mama to something else entirely. At least that's what Lachna probably thought. Maybe even that her sister wanted the kid all for herself. She never knew about the accident. The real reason. Can't imagine how she must have felt thinking she'd been betrayed by the one person she trusted more than anyone. Not so hard to see how that color her opinions on the Carl network. That's all behind her now. She and Mama have reconciled their differences, and maybe her faith in the ties that bind can be restored. Yeah, that'll be good. Alright, so we got Godzilla. It was in this film that Godzilla, who would later go on to become an iconic figure for monster movie fans the world over, made his debut. The movie went on to spawn a series and countless different versions, and its unlikely stars remembered as an enduring metaphor for the threat posed by nuclear weapons. 
Legendary directors the world over, not least among them Nicholas Winding Refn and Guillermo del Toro, both of which have cameos in this, uh, well, call them cameos because, like, Guillermo del Toro is used as Dead Man's, um, appearance, and the other guy is, um, Hartman, but their voices and, um, motion capture are done by completely different people, so, yeah. So, Godzilla is a huge influence for them. In 2004's Godzilla Final Wars was its title, with its title sequence by Kyle Cooper and its Yuji Shinkawa designed Atragon showcased a long pedigree of big name fans the series has accumulated over the years. And now the Kotobukiya Ludens girl model. Who knew there was a girl version of the Ludens figurine? Not even the most Ludens crazy preppers have managed to get their hands on one of these. It's a reimagining of Ludens as a f human female character, much in the style of Ko Kotobukiya's Frame Arms Girls series, and apparently caused a real stir when it was unveiled at Wonder Festival 2019 in Japan. It's designed based on a concept by the legendary Yoji Shinkawa. But of course, in classic style, you know, the female version is skimpy, not practical, whereas the male version is fully armored and you can't even see his face. Like, that kind of usual bullshit. <laughs> Like, I, well, I guess, I guess that means that women really are total badasses because apparently, according to fiction, we need less armor than men do, right? <laughs> but I digress. So we're heading over to the roboticist. So I laid down a path on the map. And I think it goes it goes through here. Oh yeah, and you can see that other people have gone through this little hill because see how it's all worn down here? Look, there's even some footprints. Don't know if they're mine. They might have been mine. Alright, Sam, you can make it. a lot steeper than I thought it was gonna be. We can see a path here. As long as we hold L2 and R2, we'll be okay. No. It's crazy all the different uh, lost cargo that is in this area. It's like, do you really expect someone to like haul it all the way back to distribution center south of Lake Knot City? It's ridiculous. So we will definitely run into BTs here and we're not going to have 
blue with us. Don't worry, kid. Don't worry, kid. Don't worry, kid. I was pressing the touchpad when Sam calls out. Trudging along. Of course, I still have my Oja deck but it's not going to be as effective as it would be if we had Lu with us. Ooh, I definitely want to pick up those medals because that will help me top off the medals on that auto paver. But yeah, we are in BB ter BT territory. Just stay low. don't hear anything yet. Like when you get close enough to a BT. Wow. Thank goodness for that prompt. Yeah, thank goodness for the umbilical cord. Super handcuffs. It's all thanks to Mama. So it's very helpful in this part of the game when you don't have um when you don't have BB with you. Oh, I can just call it Lou. It's been revealed. hear the growling somewhere in that direction so just don't go that way oh the growling you can't even see him yeah it's like coming from this side that's definitely why some good headphones or he good headset is nice for this part of the game when it's like you really have to listen. Have some surround sound. Okay, I don't need to be following that line straight to the letter. Alright, still don't see anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay crouched. Makes it slower, but better safe than sorry. It's just really awkward in the snow. Okay, it's not it's not all dark and gloomy now, so we should be 
in the clear soon. All right, we're good. I'm gonna let's see. Oh, let's pick this up. So, BTs are over in that way. Should be the roboticist. <laughs> Careful, Sam. Trip over a rock. Oh, and some lost cargo for the roboticist. Definitely want to pick that up since she's right here. And yes, I say she because again, I've played this game before, so I know that the roboticist is a woman. Oh, this is a bit of a steep, steep slope. Okay, and the other piece of lost cargo is around this corner. There's a hot spring here. We don't need to use it at this moment. I'm good on health and stamina. I can grab that lost cargo from Mountain Nut City on my way back. Made it. Awesome. I hear you're the one to talk to about the chiral network. Mm -hmm. 
Is it true that a contract will let me access your schematics and so forth? Yep. I want to share my research with everyone. Let them read it. Let them learn from it. Like I learned from their work. Make me a part of the UCA. Wow, that was easy. Oh, that ladder isn't looking too good. Roboticist has joined the UCA. Yes, the all-terrain skeleton. I will never use any other skeleton for the rest of the game. Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but it's a terrible mess. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Okay, so let's see if there's anything that needs to be All right. Uh, that's not looking too good. Those are fine. Oh, the ladder is a lot better than I thought. Oh yeah, my hermetic grenades and blood bags I used up. We definitely want to get rid of that. Alright, so let's take on some orders. So that goes to the doctor. That's to the weather station and well that's all the way over there. Yeah, I'll I'll pick up the one for the doctor since we're gonna be going over there anyway. Yes, we want this. Oh, that's the roboticist's custom made active skeleton, isn't it? Should be a big help on mountain trails, or any lousy road, come to think of it. Yeah, I love this one. It's the absolute best. Uh, so let's put that on my back, and let's equip. And of course, we'll want to go and recycle the speed skeleton. Yeah, let's let's go and recycle that. So we no longer need it anymore. La la la. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. All right. Where was that lost cargo? Oh, was it actually all the way over there? Not as close as I thought it was going to be. Oh, look how much faster we go through the snow. I'm, I'm not even running. This is the best, one of the best things in the game. In my personal opinion, of course. Alright, well let's go ahead and... 
get rid of all those markers and we'll start some new markers. Just as a little, little reminder of what direction to go. Oh, it's so much nicer. Oops, wrong thing. Um. Okay, it's not connected to anything here, but it would still be good to set start making a zipline network. Like, if we build one here, then it would... I don't know if this is a good spot, but, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, this skeleton is a game changer. And that's why it's good that I went to the roboticist first, because that's how you get it. truck wasn't there a moment ago. Let's see, can I make... No, it would have to be more like over... over here. To put it at the top of this um, hill. And then it can connect to uh, other ones down the road. But yeah, just just starting to set up a network. I don't have any other PCCs on me, so that's about as much as I can do at this point. Okay, Mountain Knot City should just be... Um, great thing about the all-terrain skeleton is you can use it to run up steep cliffs and run through rivers without using your endurance. Going back to Mountain Knot City to pick up the order for the doctor. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges.
I don't need the assault rifle I have equipped. I'm gonna go recycle it. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Alright, so let's go and recycle. I don't need that many extra stuff. Yeah, the assault rifle. Don't need that. Thank you. Okay. Now let's take on the order for the doctor. Yeah, I can't really make anything because I used up all the ceramics. Hmm. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, now we have these medals that we picked up out in the wild to contribute. And we'll still need like 200, 400 ceramics. Oh yeah, let's go pop under here for a quick little, little spritz. Alright, guess I didn't need anything fixed. Oh, we needed more than 200. So I could have grabbed more, but... Let's grab these chiral crystals. some more metals. Yeah, the doctor is right there. Somebody's already got a bridge set up. They out there look. This makes it a lot easier. It looks like there's a hot spring right there. something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? Of course. If me being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle.
Doctor has joined the UCA. Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. More monster. Yep, canteen has been upgraded to level 2. The level 2 canteen produces monster energy that restores more stamina than the level 1. Your deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to do with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. Thanks, Anne. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hope. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. All right. Good work. New order available. Let's take a look at what is here. So we got some bot... Bot deliveries. Uh... Okay, that goes through bot assist. That goes all the way up there. Yeah, we can take this one. Only 30 minutes. Yo, we, we barely- I'm gonna take the premium order. It can get over there super fast. It's good to carry a lot of PCCs in the mountain area. Alright, let's do this. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limits. Like, 10 minutes is more than enough time. Whoa, dude. Careful. basically a path here because of how many people have gone this way. See, Mountain Out City is literally just around the corner. Takes maybe two minutes. See just how quick that was. No worries, wow. man. Uh, how did you get this here so fast? I ran. It took me a minute and a half. Now we have a level three assault rifle, level three non lethal. And then a new interview. Ooh, now we definitely can finish off that, uh... 
Yay, we reached level 10 with delivery time. Reached, awarded the title of courier. Few porters can match your talents in the field. You'll now tire less easily. And we, um, we were on our own for the longest time. But since joining the UCA, we've been able to communicate with people all over. We've learned a lot from them. And them from us, I, I might think. We've never felt so connected. You know, uh, folks have shared stories about you too. <laughs> you know, the incredible things you've done. I gotta be honest, part of me still can't believe you're real. Mm -hmm. Much less that you're willing to go through hell and back just to keep us going. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry. I, you, you got places to be. Just know that you'll always be welcome here. Why don't you rest up before you go? Sam has so many fanboys. Good work. New order available. Alright, so let's claim some materials to finish off um, that auto paver. Um, let's. I forget exactly how many I needed. I'm gonna grab more than I need just to be safe. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna go and finish that road, or at least that part of road. Begin to stand. Have a pleasant journey. Yeah, see, I was only like a little. Well, I gave way more ceramics than I needed, but that's okay. What matters is we get a chunk of road. Quite a decent chunk of road. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Now let's go see what that delivery is all about. Hey there! Hey there! Hey there. <laughs> Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. All right. Orders for Sam. Antibiotic delivery to the Mountaineer. Oops. We don't need any of those. We already have two PCCs. Two bladders, two climbing anchors. Um, yeah, we don't, there's not much we really need right now. Don't need a vehicle. Sure, I'll take these things. Alright, deliver the antibiotics. Have a pleasant journey. Let's look at the map to see if Okay, nobody has made any zip lines yet. It is a good idea to build some zip lines to get from Mountain Knot to the um, Mountaineer. And it's gonna rain. Well, snow. Okay. So, 
if we put one here then if one is built down there it'll be easier to connect oh somebody did put a um a zip line but it's in a really weird location I just want to take a look to see if it does connect. I didn't notice a blue line. Okay, it does, but I'm not going to take it because it's all the way up on that cliff, and that would just be silly. That's where we want to go, is right over there. So naturally, I can make another zip line to connect to that one. Put one further, further along. Yep, we're getting into BT territory. Okay. It's getting all dark and spooky. Like, those are like the bones of a of like buildings, but yeah, it really looks like a graveyard essentially. Oh, it's really snowy. Oh, that's not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, and there's another, um... Okay, so people have been pretty, uh, proactive. Well then, my question is, does that connect... Um... With all those three, the one I made, and then the two, that the one there and the one there, if those will all connect. They probably do. It's just... Oh. With the snowstorm, I wasn't even able to really tell. Oh my god. Thank god for that prompt. Otherwise, I would have been so screwed. Alright, so yeah, let's just keep going. With luck, once we get the Mountaineer onto the Carl Network, there will be a lot more zip lines, and I won't have to really build. I heard you. I could hear the growling. Like there was, there was one really close. Yeah, like, you can frickin- you can hear it. Oh my god. As long as I stay low... It's like especially scary with these headphones. So yeah, I need to make a new backpack cover. I'll replace it when I go back to Mountain Knot City and rest in my private room. Yeah, I'm just keeping my eyes open for the... to cut the umbilical cord. I think it might be safer for me to just... To just go up this way. My gosh, it's somewhere over there. A 
I'll just stay crouched until the darkness lifts, and then I'll know that I'm in the clear. All the voices of the dead. It's terrifying. Very terrifying. Okay. Alright. We're safe. Yeah, see the zip line that's all the way up there. I'll definitely want to see if I can use those zip lines to get back to Mountain Knot. Okay. I was wondering, why are you crouching? Shit! What the? That was weird. I was holding L2 and R2. Right, it's all windy. It'll be easier to go back because we'll have zip lines. Thank you. I gave her the medicine. Urgent. You need to retrieve cargo from the doctor and take it to the Mountaineer's shelter. It's a remote medical terminal. The patient needs it ASAP, so you're gonna have to move fast. 
but this is a delicate piece of equipment we're talking about. It needs to make it there in one piece. Don't leave anything to chance. All right, well, they're giving us a whole hour. The client's requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now, the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do. All right, let's definitely take these PCCs. They're level two, so we'll be able to make a lot more um, uh, zip lines. Order assigned. Delivery. All right, so the closest zip line is right here. It's gonna pull a marker on it so I can find it. Sam, in light of the patient's condition. I've gone ahead and put a time limit on this order. You can still deliver the cargo after it runs out, but I want you to move Helen Earth to get there before it does. I know we keep piling things on you, but your BB unit can wait a little longer. And besides, beefing up the cargo network there should help it get better faster. Yeah, win it's a win-win scenario. Alright, so let's get on this zip line and see exactly how far it takes us. With luck, it will actually connect us. Oh, metals and ceramics. Darn, it would be nice to pick those up, but I don't really have the time to be finding another. Uh... Oh, careful. Careful. All right. Oh, thank God. Yeah, this this is going to be a big help. And then we'll be able to connect to the zip line that I made, and then I'll set up another one en route to the doctor. Oh, that was awesome! They set up a voice um, setting on their zipline, that, that player, about a BT warning. That is really cool. I've never heard someone actually do that on one of their structures. Like, that is very nice. Alright, so I'm going to very quickly drop off these um, this lost cargo. And I have an idea of where I'm going to set up my next zip line. With those zip lines, there's no way it's going to take an hour, so we're good. Hey, Sam. Welcome back. Tough journey as always, I bet. <laughs> Not that tough, thanks to ziplines. Aaron Hill is a big Sam fanboy. We're going to get through this because of you. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. All right. Oh wait. Um, if I can pick up orders for, say, the doctor, that would be nice. Okay, I can do that. I can do a premium delivery. Yeah, that's all we'll take. All right. Ready to go. Pleasant 
Okay, I'm gonna make my next zip line up on this little ridge. Weapons restrictions lifted. Maybe up here. Oh. There you go, Sam. Okay. So let's make one right here. Oh, whoa. Not that. Nice that there's a bridge here. Construction complete. So then the next big question will be can I have a zip line connect? Like if I make one up on that ridge? Because you can't make zip lines inside of the perimeter of um, a prepper or like all the where all those poles are. Oh, look! Did you see that? Did you see that person's zipline just materialize? That is so cool. That person knew exactly what to do. Sam, access the delivery terminal. Yeah, and then we should be able to zipline our way. It'll be awesome. just contacted me. The treatment I prescribed isn't working. We need to act fast. I hope the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of the symptoms, but it looks like we're past that stage. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage, even brain death. Then she'd be a still now, mother. I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. Get it ready. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. Mm, fancy. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion. But future advancements may free us of this limitation. That would be it really cool. Go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and uh, thank you. No, thank you. All right. And then, of course, I want to drop off the order that I picked up. And it'll lighten the load a bit, too. So, activate terminal, make delivery. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we got a prepper interview. Olive drab Ludens mask frame color. And backpack color. Olive drab's a cool color. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. Oh? You're more than welcome to it. What is it? High capacity blood bag. Nice. Definitely taking that. We are kind of out of space and utility pouches. And now while we're here, 
Processed Mountain Knot City. It's an it's the other time sensitive one, but yeah, that will be super easy peasy. Hmm. Okay, well let's cancel that order and let's try to make it not Oh, it still is a lot, gosh darn it. I mean, I, well, I have, I have a... Yeah, let's just take the standard version of it. Okay, we don't need anything. It's exactly... Okay, so we want to take the floating carrier. Offload it, and let's put all the crypto biotes. Into the floating carrier. So we won't be able to use the zip line, but again, we have we have so much time for the whole mountaineer thing that I'm not worried. That's the only issue with using the um, floating carrier. You can't use zip lines. Yeah, and I could have made this a premium order, but that's fine. Now, why is there the ominous time-based music going on? No idea. Like, it takes a minute and a half to do a 30-minute mission. <laughs> Alright, let's definitely get some charge. Here's our crypto biotes. Hey Sam. Look, I'm uh, sorry to impose on you once again, but we wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Wow, uh, how did you get this here so fast? <laughs> I can tell you, you never fail to impress. We're going to get through this. Because of you. Thank you, Sam. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. All right, back to the Mountaineer. Beginning stand. Have a pleasant journey. And luckily, we can take the zip lines most of the way. And I'm sure that once we get the Mountaineer on the Carol Network, there will already be a zipline waiting for us, so we can just take it all the way back. Okay, you know, this bike is in really poor condition. Dismantled it. Alright, here we go.
I love that. Beware, BT's ahead. That's so fun. That just shaves off so much time. All right. You can easily see where the the mountaineer. Whoa, where the mountaineer is because of that tower antenna thing. <gasps> Ooh, that was dicey as all hell. But that's why it's going to be so nice when we get more zip lines. Wendy. So windy. I'm boosting my exoskeleton and yet I'm barely moving. Haha, <laughs> he left some cowograms to lead the way. Right, come on, Sam, you can do it. We're here. It took us only 10 minutes and that was even after um, stopping to like drop off some orders and build some zip lines. Mountaineer has joined the UCA. Bridges boots level three. Power gloves. Oh, I love that too. So now we have a few interviews to read. Some prepper interviews. Doctor. Uh, okay, I'll I'll activate the terminal from my end. Just just a moment. Everything's going to be all right. With this device, I I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with the bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... This is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. That is pretty awesome. Nicely done. Stuff like Being that is like back in action soon. What would be that really good real for trooper. this coronavirus pandemic? Because it's like, oh, people should try not to go That's outside, but then people need medicinal help, and then 
It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery All right. for further information. So we definitely want to make the new boots. So therefore, let's recycle the level 2 boots. I don't even need that either. So... Yeah, that ladder isn't looking very too good. Don't need the level 2 boots at all. Let's get rid of one of these partially used blood bags. That way I can put the high capacity blood bag in. Let's go and fabricate. So I think we're already wearing. Um, I think we're already wearing one. And yeah, we definitely want power gloves. Oh, you're gonna love power gloves. They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? You probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for. <laughs> it sure would hurt. So let's make one of those. So now we'll put these on the boot clip and we will put on the gloves. Yeah, let's just go and put these on my back now. Um, but yeah, so that was that was a good run, and we Thank have a new order to pick up. But I think that this whole chunk—it's been like an hour and forty minutes—is a good length for an episode since I upload these onto YouTube. Um, yeah, so. I'm actually not going to play very long today, so I will stop here, but then next week I will pick up this order, see what it is that the Mountaineer wants me to do, and we will continue on, and hopefully we'll get our BB back soon. So, yeah, until next time, keep on keeping on.